All right, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about foottrading.co.uk, our trading site that's there to help you guys make millions of coins throughout FIFA 22. We've already got people in the Discord that are sitting well over 5 million TP with millions of coins on their account, basically building and trading and doing whatever they want on this game without spending their hard-earned money on FIFA points. So what do you get for your money? Tier 1, £10, gets you access to the low budget area across all platforms. You also get access to our trading areas for chem styles, that's anchors, hunters and shadows. And we just launched our icon area for you guys. Every single tradable icon is on there to help you guys trade with them and make millions. The access for Tier 2 includes fluctuations. This is an area of the site that is incredibly overpowered. It tracks the market 24 hours a day. It shows you the low point on cards the high point on cards, the average price that card has been at and gives you guys an ideal price that you guys can go and buy that card out and flip it on for pretty much guaranteed profit. We don't say it lightly when we say you guys will make millions of coins if you utilize it. If you've already subbed, make sure you join the Discord. If you're debating subbing, join the Discord as well. It's completely free and you can talk to website subscribers directly and ask them what they think about the site. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Make sure you subscribe down below because for the next few days, I'm going to be bringing out videos essentially of me trading from 0 to 100k, then 100k to 250k to show you guys that what I do on the site is very easy to do yourselves. And even if you don't use the site, just follow the tips in the videos and you will make coins. You've just got to be patient and you've just got to try. A lot of the time I see people go, oh, I bought two of these cards and I lost, so I stopped buying them. It's not how trading works. You've got to be willing to make losses because more often than not, you'll make profits. So you forget about the losses and you think about all the wins. But do check out the website, foottrading.co.uk. A Black Friday sale is on the way for you guys to help you subscribe for even cheaper than you would do normally. Um, it's cheap enough as it is, but even cheaper for you guys to get involved with. But this video is all about what you want to be thinking about for the next couple of days. And it is the easiest trading method you will find on this game. It cannot really be made it more easy and more simple than this. Um, and there's going to be three or four things we're going to talk about specifically. Um, and it doesn't matter what budget you have, you can get involved in this all over. There's low budget, high budget. Every single thing you see here, I guarantee you will work. It's as simple as that. So I'll be right back with all the bits you need to know. I'll see you then. All right, guys, very quickly, let's start by looking at Rule Breakers Team 2. Um, this is the second team for Rule Breakers, and a simplistic thing, buy one of all the cheap cards, put them in your club, they will guarantee you profit at a later date. Matches is not far off discard price, Sangari is pretty much discard price, Lopez is pretty much discard price. One of each of those guaranteed is a very good place to start to make coins, simple as that, and any of the other guys that are pretty much near discard price, buy one in your club. But I just want to show you Rule Breakers Team 1. Uh, now, silver is the, the sort of example I'm going to give you, um, but there is there are other examples. I don't want to go into too much detail about who I'm going to buy from Team 2, um, because I don't want to be seen to inflate my investments. But David Silver, 24,750, it says there, he's not really. David Silver is about 27, 28,000 coins on the market with a hunter, even more of a position change. And when before David Silver went out of packs, he was down at 24k. My advice to you is if you see anyone in Wall Breakers Team 2, that has a potential to get position changed up to striker, hunter and stuff like that. Buy a couple and leave them on your transfer pile. You will make profit. It's as simple as that. If there's anyone here you think, oh, I might want to work with that. Position change, perhaps. Anyone that can be position changed. Obviously not Foden and Kessie, they're, they're risk, risky. But they can be very good to buy in for a very short term hold. Two, three days and they make very good profit indeed. So definitely look out for those rule breakers. But now let's talk about low end fodder. Um, and we're talking about specifically... SBC fodder for daily SBCs. So this morning, we got um, Foot Champs, Division Rivals, even. Division Rivals rewards, Milestone rewards, all that sort of stuff. And these sort of cards dropped off in value. So Zhenyak's normally about a 2,300 coin card. Tovin's usually about 1,900 to 2,200, depending on the sort of day of the week or whatever and when we got supply. These cards have dropped off a little bit at the moment. There's no buy point for them right now. Um, but... Tomorrow we're going to get loads of packs for this new Adidas promo, whatever it is. Look to these cards and look to them en masse. We have, we have this area on the website where people use these cards. Someone last week put 350k into it and they walked away with just short of 700,000 coins after tax. They picked these all up during promo lightning rounds or promo rounds for the first day of the promo, the Adidas promo, and they bounced significantly. They picked them up at 6pm. Look at these sort of cards. If you are on the website, they're already listed for you guys with the buys and the sells on them. If you're not on the website, all you've got to do is go onto FootWiz and look at 
French players, German players, whatever it is, that do not play in their normal nation. So German players outside the Bundesliga, French players outside the Ligue 1. They tend to do the best, but as a starting point, Tovan, Gigo, Gignac, they tend to do very, very well. Buy them at 6pm tomorrow with the, the, the lightning rounds and stuff like that. You will make coins very, very quickly for it. It's as simple as that. Get involved in it. We're now going to head back to Footwiz. I'm going to talk about actual SBC fodder and we're going to lay it out what's good to invest in, what isn't good to invest in. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to Footwiz. Now, this page tells you the cheapest players based upon their rating. If you want to get to it, you can literally just Google cheapest players by rating Footwiz. But I want to show you and have a little look at this area and why it's important. So basically, Fodder has done quite well this year if you bought in the high end. So the higher rated stuff has done better. The lower rated stuff hasn't done well, but there is an exception to this. And that's in 82 rated. Um, but 83 rated have not done well at all this year. So if you look at Thomas Lamar, for an example, not really done anything. A little spike there, but 83s haven't done well. Now, what it's going to take is something like a repeatable SBC that can be sort of done multiple times to bring the price of 83s up. Now, we could see something like a party bag or something like that. We've now got one swatches, we've got rule breakers, we've got rotor knockouts, um, and we're going to have these Adidas cards in packs. It wouldn't surprise me if we did see some sort of repeatable, but based upon what's happened so far this year, I wouldn't touch 83s with a barge pole. Doesn't mean they're not going to go up in value, but I base everything I base upon what's happened so far in the game. I don't like 83s. However, 84s have done quite well. David De Gea, for example, he had a spike of 3.6. He's now down to 2.1. We know that's not far off the low that he's held recently um, in terms of his value. Now, this is on Thursday with the, with the rival rewards, um, all that sort of stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to get even more promo packs. If he gets much lower than that, it's a buy point. You want to buy and hold. Because a daily SBC, like a player SBC, or any sort of decent SBC that requires 84 rated, he's going to spike We've seen that so far. Again, 2-2 two, two low there, up to 3-6. Jesus Navas right now, 2-9 at the moment. Again, his low point was sort of 2-3. He's got his highest 3-3. He's 2-9 at the moment. It's a 1,000 coin jump per card from his low point last Saturday um, into today, basically. And the cheap, cheap point of these cards is going to tend to be something in and around Friday night into Saturday. That's where the low, low point is going to be. A lot of packs are going to be opened up. This new promo is something brand new to FIFA. We've never seen it before. I think there'll be a lot of hype around it. Whether it's a good promo or not is another matter. Um, but again, buy point there, not bad at all. And all you've got to do to know the price is just click on them, literally. So right click, and I'm going to put on, I'm not going to do Carrasco because he's that packed, but Guerrero, for example, we'll get him up. Two, seven, three thousand realistically. And again, where's his low point? Two thousand. Again, last Saturday, the day after promo packs, his high, three thousand coins now. It's as simple as that. That's all you've got to look to do. And would I go and buy 300 of these cards? Probably not. You can do if you really want to do it. But if you're the sort of person that goes and buys 50 of these cards, it's 50,000 coins. If you do that once a week, over the course of a month, it's 200,000 coins for doing the most basic level of trading ever. If you go and do it and go and assign them 500 of them, fair play, you're making 250,000 coins. But it's a no-brainer. It genuinely is an utter no-brainer to get involved in it. At a higher end, Kingsley Coleman, for example, his lows have been about 10,000, give or take. And at the moment, his high is 13,250. About 14,000 coins you could probably sell to a lazy buyer. So your profit return on him isn't quite as strong as it might be somewhere else. But if you've got a higher tier and you want to go and make even more coins, let's say you're sitting on 500k, you can go and buy 50 Kings and Kingsley Coleman's, sell him at 15k each or 14k each, and you're looking at about 200k profit and you're still going to have space on your transfer pile to work with other stuff. Again, these sort of cards are a no-brainer. Just watch what they're doing. And again, you're looking for the lows. And really, the lows haven't really been any lower than 10. So you can't really go wrong in that situation. And Paolo Dybala, 87 rated this time, 21k. His lows again last Saturday, 14,000 coins on Xbox. He's now at 21,000 coins. Different cards rise for different reasons based upon links. Players that might get released as SPCs. But that's a jump of 7,000 coins and these 6,000 coins. After tax, about 5,000 coins profit per card. Again, if you've got 400k and you go and buy, I don't know, give or take 20 of them, you're making very, very good profit from it. It's very, very good profit. It's very, very easy profit. And fodder is really what has done well so far this year. Relying upon stuff like link investments or investments based upon what's coming out is never a good idea. They don't tend to do very well. Fodder is where it's at, so get involved in that. What I do want to show you, though, is the Rule Breakers cards themselves. So let's have a look at someone like... 
I don't know. We're going to go with Kuliszewski. Let's have a little look at Kuliszewski himself. Um, and I've seen quite a few people recommend sort of the out-of-pack investments and stuff like that. So if you look at Kuliszewski, out-of-packs, he's not really done anything. Out-of-pack investments don't tend to do well when the card is a gold card originally. They don't tend to do well at all. They do do well, do do well, when they are, um, usually anyway, when they are commons. When they're random commons. So again, Sangare here hasn't done well at all. Actually, Sangare did rise. He actually did rise, but he hasn't on PlayStation, so I ignore that. Um, but he actually did rise. The reason for his rise, I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea. There's no justifiable reason for this card being up. If you look at this, no justifiable reason for this card being up. He's an anomaly. Sangari did rise. I'm trying to remember the card that I looked at from the Rule Breakers. I think it was Team 1 that did bang, and I can't remember which one it was. It might have been Ripper, actually. One of them banged, and it was out of packs. So we'll have a look quickly. Is it Ripper? I think it was Ripper out of packs. Yes, out of pack packs. Ripart got a little bounce here. So you see this? It's not massive. It's not huge. But he got up bit by bit by bit. And again, if you got him at the low of 450, which was that, you doubled your coins basically on him, give or take. These cards do all right. But out of pack investments in general this year don't do well at all. Sangari's an anomaly. And I have no idea why Sangari's done that. There's no justifiable reason for it. He just bounced weirdly. I'm not, not remotely not even sure why he's done that. But out-of-pack investments don't do well this year. That is what you want to be looking at. In my opinion, your plays right now. SBC fodder at a lower end, um, in terms of just daily SBC fodder, and higher tier SBC fodder, like 84s up. They're doing very, very well right now. And a couple of those rule breakers out of packs, if they're discard price, will eventually rise. And you can't really make a loss out of it. It's not hard. But they're the best plays right now. If you have coins, utilize them, make coins with them. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications turn on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.